Hey there. Thank you for joining me in another round of Planet Crafter. As I started the recording, we just now unlocked Pulsar Quartz. But first things first, I did purchase the Tier 2 Locker Storage Blueprint. And now we're completely broke, I think. 8,500, that's great. Now the Tier 2 Locker Storage is going to help us tremendously with uh, fine-tuning the drones, because we did unlock the drone station in the previous episode. The tier 2 lockers, they are going to be great because they have a lot of space and it helps me a lot moving stuff around from far distant racks to this base, for example. Yes, before I forget, let me actually activate that blueprint for the locker storage. Very nice item. There we go. And what is needed for that again? There's a couple of circuit boards, I think, and uh, super alloys. Two super alloys and a circuit board. Okay, let me get that done. Easier said than done. I need to craft some super alloys. Actually, I can teleport. Duh. There we go. I should really put the teleporter in there, but okay. I'm not sure why I put it outside here, but... Uh, that's definitely a lot faster than crafting them myself. Um, where do I want to put these for now? I'm just going to put them here. Can I squeeze that one in there? Perfect. Okay, so we set it up for drones. They will only demand here. But yeah, I thought there was an option now to select all items at once. Maybe that's only with supply? Okay, let's check on the drone station. I think we have five drones, if I remember correctly. Five, yes. They have nothing to do right now. We only have uh, set up the demand side of things. Certain things like uh, vegetables and algae will be picked up automatically. So you don't have to set up the supply on that side. So I had to turn these off for these boxes. Alright, time has come to activate the reactor inside this rack. That will open up, uh, I think, one or two doors. This is really a lot. Here's the reactor. Okay, let's see what it opened up. Okay, so it opened up that door. There's a safe. This is stuff I can uh, dismantle and take with me. Oh, there's a chest. Hey, a hundred tokens. It's not much, but every little bit helps. There's another chest, but let's go for the safe. A hundred, a thousand, five hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a thousand, and a hundred. Uh, this is an energy. It's my favorite. This is going to be great. Uh, two blueprints. Okay. So it only opens up one door, but it's plenty. It's sufficient. It's all we really needed, to be honest. You can see that the drones are on the way sometimes to pick stuff up. I need another box here. I keep clicking out of it, I can activate this right away instead of constantly closing that box. Uh, the energy will pick up myself. Some things I pick up myself just to make sure because the drones can take a little while. Uh, this one too. Production multiplier, alright. Alright, let's see what we get from the blueprints. Uh, vehicle. Oh, no more. Okay. Hey, that's fine by me. And now we do have enough to order that 3x3 three three living quarter.
Uh, there you go. Ten thousand. I think it's uh, what is it? Ten minutes. Ten minutes, and we got that uh, awesome three by three living compartment. So let's uh, craft a couple of more drones to speed this process up. I was also stupid enough. I put one of my fusion energy cells in the, one of those boxes. So, yeah, that uh, that wasn't smart. I have to wait for that to come back. Okay, I can craft ten more drones. Go. That should put us then at what is it, twenty-five. Perfect. They are all going to be busy for a long, long time. The rocket is back. Brilliant. So now we could finally start organizing things a little bit because it's kind of a chaos this way. Let's get that the blueprint discovered. Three by three. Um, materials, that shouldn't be too complicated. Yeah, let's put that there. And I will probably make some sort of a base here. Um, kind of make it floating. Because that's possible in the game. It doesn't have to be uh, structured to the ground, so you can have literally have to float. Unless they change that, I would be surprised, but... Uh... So I'm going to try to get on this rock here. I think I can. And then I will build a staircase to heaven, quote-unquote. Let's see if we can get up here, because this will really help. Perfect. So now, let's build a staircase. I'm not sure how you can go in this game. I'm pretty sure somebody has tested it out. But it wasn't me. Ah, this should be high enough, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let's see if we can put a 3x3 three three here somewhere. I don't have the door material on me. That's easy enough. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if I can... I'm going to make a little platform under there. I still fall in the middle. Oh, look at that. That worked uh, pretty fine. All right. So now I'm going to put a teleporter here. And I can just teleport in and uh, take it from there. I'll just expand this. This is probably going to be the center of the base. And I will do a whole bunch of 3 by 3s Kind of connected to it in, in the form of a, well, a star, snowflake, whatever you want to call that. So I make the arms about 5 long. So now the question is, can I attach the 3x3 three three nicely in the middle here, or is it going to mess everything up? Is it automatically going to swap to a corner like it does now? Alright, so I've done some thinking, because all these hallways are now 5 long, but as you could see, when I try to snap a 3x3, three three, it won't snap in the middle. This will snap to a corner, which is not what we want. So I'm thinking, because instead of trying to go around the outside or from the bottom up, which takes forever and I use a lot of materials. I'm actually thinking about pulling it further and then turning back. Let me show you what I mean.
Okay, so that step has been completed. So every, every hallway is five squares long, so to speak, and this is a three by three connected to each. Nicely in the middle now, nicely aligned. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. And I, I never built with a, a blueprint or a plan. I just start doing stuff and see how it pans out. So that is not too bad, really, not too bad. Um, I could probably do some some corners there, some round corners to make that like a little ball in the middle instead of a square. Uh, I'll think about that. But now I can uh, move some of the storage over, and some of these I will actually expand because a three by three is not really enough. If you want to do some auto crafting later on, so um, maybe I might actually make it a nine by three. Too bad I don't have a lot of uh, skill, otherwise I could make it uh, the Battlestar Galactica. So I made one, it's now a 9x3, so this is one of the sides. So I can actually start moving my storage over here, so I don't have to keep zapping back and forth. Alright, so the this storage area is kind of done for now, so these are all the, the raw materials. And what I did as well is right outside of the teleporter, so when I come into the base, I have a drop box here. And I can drop anything in here, it will then automatically be sorted. So you can see, it's immediately picked up, and it will go to those boxes in the back. And I just need to expand on all the storage and all the, the rooms, and uh, everything will be well, almost completely automated. It's pretty cool. Okay, little update. Um, I'm going to put down my first auto-crafter in this playthrough. But, uh, I was thinking about putting it here, next to the other crafter Because I could use some super alloys. Let's see if it all works. Should be working. There we go. Perfect. Alright guys, a little update. So I expanded the base. As usual, I went a little bit overboard. But now we have plenty of storage room and space available. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. It's extremely far from done. But uh, there's no storage in this base at all anymore. So everything has been moved. And it's slowly starting to get completely fully automated here. So this is the area where I do everything with algae, mutagen. And this is going to be my research mutation area. So this base basically has four sections. So this is the, the raw material section. With all the minerals and the metals and all that stuff. An auto crafter. And on the... What I call the left hand side, I have all the boxes with the seats, and I think they might be actually full, almost. Three seats are still coming, three bark is being loaded, so we have patched. You can see that it's slowly filling all up, so there's no point to put an autocrafter in that room. Um, and then this one is, well, the, well, Produced manufactured items are like rocket engines, circuit boards, other electronics, um, clothing, effigies, fabric. So there's plenty of space left, but uh, yeah, this is just a work in progress. I, I have to fine tune this tremendously, but it's a lot of fun. This is my Dropbox. I drop that in there. I did notice, by the way, that certain items are not available for the drones yet. And I say yet. Uh, for example, Lerma Seed um, is not part of this. It's not listed here yet. The other one is the rare larvae and the common larvae. And I think the reason for that is, is that you actually at some point discover those from your technology. And then you can actually craft them yourselves. And I think the game is waiting until that has happened. And then it will be added for your drones to be transported. And I think they should really change that because Lerma Seed is, is, is really abundant in the early game. And it's just like the larvae and stuff. It shouldn't... You shouldn't have to craft one to transport it, you know? Because there's a lot of stuff that we're transporting that we don't craft. But either way, so that is a little update. Alright, here we go. We haven't done this wreck yet. We haven't activated the nuclear reactor there yet. Okay, let's see what opened up. I, unfortunately, I don't remember.
This one was already open. This one wasn't, so this opened up. Okay, that's nice. Uh, anything else in here? Is that just a chest? Looks like these doors open up and there's a safe. Always an exciting moment. Alright, a hundred, thousand, five hundred, thousand, five thousand, and thousand. Uh, what is this? This is something that is new, a genetic trait. Inserted into a genetic synthesizer to create a new creature. Uh, it says number four. I, I, this is new to me. But that is fun. Uh, genetic trait number five. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Okay, we have uh, one more rack to go. The one in the lava zone. Uh, obsidian. always a little bit of figuring out here on this one. What opened up. I'll pick up the clothes either way. Not that I need them, but... Okay, this opened up. There's a safe. A hundred, a thousand, five hundred, a hundred, five hundred, five thousand, and a one hundred. Alright. Here's another room. Oh, a couple of those. I actually need those. The circuit boards. Uh, number one. Now we have some coins. 500. 500. Number four. 100 tower tokens. Four again. Uh, we have a first different quartz. That's pretty important. Yeah, that should be it. Alright, so we have gathered a lot of tarot tokens. Now let's see if there's anything interesting that we can get. Uh, cocoa seeds, wheat seeds. I'll just buy one of each. Cooking station. Smart fabric. Um, the sofa and the bed, really. Uh, I don't need these fuses. There's a three seat. I'll get that one. A uh, fish axe. I probably will need that at some point too. But let's see if there's anything else more important. Living compartment with dome. We don't have the tarot tokens for that. Rounded living compartment. Nah, I don't care much for that one. The tier two drone. That, no, that's interesting. Yeah, that's. Place that order. Okay, so this base is mostly going to be dismantled. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the biodomes and the butterfly pavilion. Um, I'm not sure if I want to put them in these corners here, but uh, I don't think it would look nice. I'll have to think about that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Next episode, we're going to do a lot of mutation because we have a lot of animals to discover. Hope you're going to be there with me. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.